I'm Chad at Acoustic Sounds. Today we're here to talk about the UHQR, ultra high quality record. Just want to share the information I know about the UHQR because there's been some misinformation out there and um, sometimes when misinformation's passed along over and over, then it, you know, people think that that's, um, might be fact. But um, it's really simple and I'll, I'll explain it real quickly. So JVC is a pressing plant in Japan that pressed super vinyl. Very, very good pressings, very awesome vinyl, very quiet. They press for the original Mobile Fidelity, the Mobile Fidelity that started in the late 70s that Herb Belkin owned. Um, Mobile Fidelity pressed all their records there. It was a great choice of a pressing plant because Super Vinyl is, is very quiet, very flawless. Well, JVC in Japan upped their game and they came out with what's called a UHQR. And the UHQR is 200 grams, 200 grams plus of Super Vinyl pressed on a flat profile and a flat edge record. And they offer this to different customers, just like they offered their regular pressings to different customers. A couple of the customers that used UHQR process was Reference Recordings. Reference Recordings did one. They also had a brochure about the UHQR. Talks about the, the flat profile and the frequency response and in detail. I called Marsha at Reference Recordings and asked her about the UHQR and she remembered in the early 80s she went and found the original invoice. So a regular pressing, standard conventional pressing at JVC was a dollar in the early 80s. The UHQR was 450. So that was a lot of money back then, especially the 450. That would equate to over $10 now. So that's why m many people didn't make it. Uh, make UHQRs, but they did. And it was very interesting to, for her to look at the invoice. Another company that did them was Telarc. They did 1812. This is a sealed box set. Um, the 1812, you can see UHQR. Another company that did it was uh, Mark Levinson. Did uh, Elvin Jones Music Machine Volume 1 and 2. And uh, this is all Japanese, but you can see that it's uh, JVC Super Vinyl. And this kind of opens, it's very interesting. It's kind of like a uh, Tupperware or something, you know, it, it, it um, sealed in there, really thick plastic. And, uh, and then the other company, of course, is Mobile Fidelity, the original Mobile Fidelity. They did eight different UHQRs. The retail of those back then in the early 80s, maybe 1982, were $50 a piece. That's probably $125 now in, in the inflation calculator. So they did eight different titles, and I'll, I'll go through the titles. They did uh, Sergeant Pepper, The Beatles Sergeant Pepper. They did Crime of the Century, Super Tramp. They did Dark Side of the Moon. They did Alan Parsons' I, Robot. They did Cat Stevens' T for the Tillerman. They did Earl Clue Finger Paintings. They did Respigi Pines of Rome and Host the Planets. They did them this really nice box with the linen. These things, by the way, are going for big bucks. The, I think the Dark Side and the Sgt. Pepper are over a thousand bucks. This has a real nice feel to it, like a textured feel. Not all of them do. Some of them have a matte, matte cover. And uh, they come with the foam, the technical specifications. Shows the flat profile and everything. Explains why it's a ultra high quality record. Comes with a uh, certificate of authenticity, hand numbered, hand signed by the president, the then president, Herb Belkin. 
And then the record came like this, with the black and white picture and the hand numbered on the back. And I mean, you just, you know, it's just something to hold. I mean, you really know you have something substantial when you have a UHQR in your hand. And it was the ultimate highest quality record that the pressing plant, JVC, could come up with. And, uh, and they offered it to the different, their different customers. And Mobile Fidelity happened to be one that took advantage of the technology and um, they did eight. And the reason they, they made 5,000 of each and they, you know, they made the Beatles and Pink Floyd. So they really, um, people, sometimes people think that Mobile Fidelity own UHQR, but it's not the case. It was the pressing plant that owns UHQR. Now, quality record pressings, our pressing plant, Salina, Kansas, owns the name UHQR. And the reason that we uh, applied for the trademark is that's exactly what we're trying to do. We're trying to make the highest quality record that we know how possible. And that all started with Mike Hobson at Classic Records and Gary Sahlstrom. You know, they cut a UHQR in half and they could see the flat profile and they, they, um, we, you know, Mike started uh, doing, using different um, formulations on vinyl and just trying to make the best record possible. When I bought Classic Records in 2010 and I bought his presses, we continued to talk about how to improve the vinyl formulation, what vinyl to use, uh, what kind of flat profile on the dies, uh, how to just to make the ultimate record. And, you know, we took what he started and we just kept improving uh, Gary Sahlstrom and I on how to make the ultimate record. And that's why we applied for the trademark UHQR because we think this is everything we know that we can put together about bringing you the highest quality record made. And um, so here is our UHQR. Um, gold foil, nice box, really heavy duty with the, uh, the leatherette dowel. And then we put our technical specification sheet where we explain that we use uh, temperature control probes in the dies, use a flat profile die, how we make the parts, how it's a temperature control PLC controller, um, about the flat profile, about the uh, clarity vinyl that we use, that we use a manual press, the manual press is on, on industrial size pucks, you know, almost would be like tiptoes or isolation pucks for the audio files. And uh, so it doesn't vibrate. There's no machine that's, that's uh, hooked on to our manual fine built presses. They press longer, the cycle's longer, so it makes a better impression. There's no vibration. Most pressing machines have the motors and hydraulics and all this stuff connected to the machine, which vibrates the machine. And we're like, well, wow, if you vibrated somebody's turntable stand or, or anything, uh, it's not gonna make, the impression's not gonna be as good. So it explains why these records are special, why they are UHQR, why we call them the ultra high quality record. This is uh, the certificate that has our uh, patent on the UHQR and also the Clarity Vinyl. And then we also take pictures of the people that are behind making the UHQR. Uh, we're very transparent. We want to show you all exactly what goes into to pressing records and the people that are behind the scenes doing it. And uh, 
we're just really proud of, of what we've been accomplishing. And uh, we're also very happy with the success of the UHQR. Uh, I know everybody wants more of them to come out and they want them to come out sooner. And we, we also agree, we would like that too, but we make them on a manual press, one by one by hand. We inspect them one by one and we trim them one by one. And then, so it takes, it's a long process, you know, it's a very expensive, long process. And uh, we don't want to cut corners and we're not trying to save money. We're trying to make the highest quality product. And uh, I just thought that that might clear up a little bit about the UHQR and where the name came from. And, and we have so many good titles to come. I mean, so many big titles. The only reason we don't mention it now is it's going to be a while before they come out. And, and you know, uh, we don't want to drive people crazy. So just... Uh, we got some cool announcements and they'll come out soon. But first we got to finish the Miles Davis kind of blue. And once we do that, we'll look at sharing the, the big titles uh, with y'all as soon as, as soon as we finish our next one. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.